Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the THW NHL News and Rumors Rundown. My name is Jim Parsons. I'm here with thehockeywriters.com. Uh, we got tons of news to go through. As we record this this evening, NHL teams have to have their NHL expansion protection list submitted to the NHL and the Seattle Kraken for the purposes of the NHL expansion draft. And there are lots of stories coming out in regards to that from trades and last minute deals and workings behind the scenes for some NHL clubs. Uh, there's a lot to talk about here, and we're going to try to get into some of that here today as we get into one of the busier weeks in the NHL. Um, so the big story is Gabriel Landeskog coming out of Colorado. There's a real big disconnect between the two sides. Gabriel Landeskog is reportedly looking at maybe like an eight-year deal somewhere in the neighborhood of you know seven, eight, nine million dollars, and the Colorado Avalanche have apparently offered about five years and eight million. So there's a huge separation between the two sides. Now that doesn't mean that this deal can't get worked out. But it is suggesting that maybe Landeskog hits the open market, which would have been a real shock a few weeks ago. Uh, but now there's just so many teams uh, and so many players that might be hitting the UFA market that the uh, winger is looking at making a big deal, a big splash. Possibly the St. Louis Blues are going to be a team that's interested in Landeskog if he hits the open market. And we'll see where all of this goes. Uh, some Edmonton Oilers news. Adam Larson, defenseman for the team, p- pending unrestricted free agent. It sounds more and more every day like Adam Larson might test the unrestricted free agent market. Teams like the Philadelphia Flyers are rumored to be interested, and apparently there's a deal on the table, at least not on the table, but rumored from a team that is prepared to go five years and $5 million, which is probably not something the Edmonton Oilers were planning on doing. Uh, They were looking at maybe four years, something like $4 million. So we'll see if the Oilers are willing to come up to that point. But Adam Larson could side with the Oilers after the expansion draft, and there's lots of talk that he wants to stay in Edmonton, but he now knows that there's probably value for him around the NHL, so he's going to test out the market just to see what that value looks like. Zach Hyman, his agent, was reportedly told, go ahead and see if you can find a deal so that maybe the Toronto Maple Leafs can trade Zach Hyman before pending unrestricted free agency opens up here. And a number of teams have come forward to Toronto the Edmonton Oilers, Vancouver Canucks, Calgary Flames, and a host of others that are interested in Hyman. Talk is that he might get as many as eight years, five to six million dollars. Uh, that would be really something if a team was willing to give him that kind of a term for that kind of money. And it'll be interesting to see if any teams back off of that because that's a lot of money to be paying for a player who's 29 years old, uh, could be 36, 37 when that contract expires. A real good fit for a lot of clubs, but that's a pretty big ask, and he's about to hit a home run in free agency for sure. So if the Toronto Maple Leafs aren't in the conversation, you might as well try to trade him and see what you can get for him. Uh, Max Domi is going to be unprotected, going to be left unprotected by the Columbus Blue Jackets heading into the expansion draft. Talk as to why this is happening seems to center around the fact that his injury situation, the Blue Jackets are thinking the Seattle Kraken probably won't take him. There's been a lot of talk about Max Jomi and could he be traded? How big of a trade loss was this for the Blue Jackets when they moved Josh Anderson to get him and he underperformed this season? If he is selected by the Seattle Kraken and he does come back healthy after the season starts about a month in, he could be a really good offensive weapon for them, but it's just not really certain if Seattle would take him, take a flyer on a player like Domi, knowing that he's injured and had a, a pretty poor year last year. Uh, Chris Drieger is about the number one target for the Seattle Kraken from what reports are suggesting that they're going to select him from the Florida Panthers and then promptly sign him to an extension. Florida's going to have to let him go. There's been a lot of talk dating all the way back to May that Seattle is interested in Chris Drieger and we'll see what kind of a deal he gets, Uh, but they will have the kind of exclusive window to negotiate with him and that's probably going to be happening here soon. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens are going to let Philip Deneau walk to free agency. At least that's the sound of stories. He turned down an extension to the beginning of this past season. Not sure that Bergevin's offering the same deal, but they're not going to let him have that deal right now. They're going to say, go test the waters, see if there's an option out there for you, come back to us if there isn't. I guess they're gambling that the free agent market isn't going to give Philip Deneau what he's expecting it's going to do, and so they're willing to take a risk on that one and maybe move on if he decides to sign somewhere else. Taylor Hall, uh, it's probably that he's going to go back to the Boston Bruins, but there's now talk that he could test the market as well and that there's a number of teams interested in him and might give him five times five, maybe six times five. We'll see what Taylor Hall does, but the likelihood is he's going back to Boston and that deal could be announced after the expansion draft is over, but you never really know now. 
And finally, the Vancouver Canucks, Jim Benning, is reportedly feverishly working the phones, trying to make a deal here ahead of the expansion draft. He's looking for a forward. Uh, he's got Nate Schmidt that he might want to move, maybe Braden Holtby, who the Seattle Kraken might take, but there are teams that are interested in him. Uh, lots going on. Salary cap moves that Benning is trying to make and just actively trying to get involved in trades uh, prior to the expansion draft here, so we'll see what happens. Uh, there's lots more to cover. We don't have time for all of it, uh, but we'll get into another report, and we hope that you guys enjoy the expansion draft. The list are due today. The draft is coming up right away, and then free agency is not even that far around the corner. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, don't forget, check out the Hockey Reader on Twitter. Go to thehockeyreaders.com. The latest news and rumors are there. And, of course, the facebook.com slash hockey Reader's page. Uh, you can check everything out there. We'll talk to you guys soon.